Good evening, everybody. We're coming to you live from the uh, Torch University, uh, where we're learning live now uh, every Tuesday night for the past four years, uh, in-depth Chumash study. And uh, we have, prior to this class, from 7 to 8, we had Rabbi Yaakov Wolby uh, teaching a class on Jewish history and Jewish, uh, fantastic Jewish personalities series. And um, so I wanted to share a short Dvar Torah with all of you. And uh, just to get a, a little thought, a little idea on this week's Parsha. And perhaps this can link to a very important rule in parenting. So, and this is an idea that is not mine. This is an idea I heard from my father around the Shabbos table many, many years ago. Uh, and I think that it's 100% true. Here's the idea. You know, the Kohen had eight garments, eight very, very special garments. And each one of those garments were tailored uh, specifically uh, for, for, for a specific reason, right? We don't, we don't want to get into all the reasons why each one was, was part of the, the vestments of the Kohen. But you find something very, very interesting is that he had on the bottom of his uh, robe these belts, Right? The pomegranates and the bells and the pomegranates and the bells. And the obvious question is, I mean, come on, that's very noisy. It's a lot of noise. Why was it necessary for the Kohen to have these bells beneath, on the bottom of his robe? So, my father wanted to, to, to say on, on, uh, on this, a very, very fundamental principle in parenting. Uh, my grandfather, it's based on what my grandfather would always say, is that don't catch your kids doing the wrong thing. Right? Many parents have this idea of that, you know, I want to catch him. Right? Catch him while he's doing it. What's going to be the benefit? What's going to be the benefit? So let's say you catch your child doing something. Uh, uh, okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you an idea. Let's take an example. Uh, you you tell you tell your child you're sitting at the Shabbos table, and you have uh, jelly beans right on the table as for dessert for all the guests and for the children. So the child comes, can I have a jelly bean. Of course, you can have a jelly bean. You can have two jelly beans. That's it. Okay. Now, child takes his two jelly beans. What do you do with the rest of the jelly beans now? So what many people would do is they'd take those jelly beans and hide it, or put it up high, or put it in the closet, or put it in a way, in a place, that the child can't reach it. What's, what's, the, 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 what's the suggested thing to do? Is leave that jar right there. Leave the jar right there. Okay? And now the child has two choices. Either to take one, or not to take one. Right? The right thing for him to do is not to take another one. But what's if he does take one? Right? He takes one, and you didn't see it, but you know he did. Someone tells you, well, yeah, he just took one. You didn't see it. So if you saw it, you have to respond. Right? There's no, there's no option. But if you didn't see it, what should you do? Should you go under the table and see the kid chewing on that jelly bean and catch him red-handed? <laughs> Right? Or should you let him suffer the pain of being trusted and, and abusing that trust? Right? Because here's the thing. Every human being wants to be trusted. Every human being wants to feel like I am reliable, I'm dependable, right? You, I give you my word, right? And, and you can trust me. And if a child does not live up to that, right? You trusted them. And they now abuse that trust. Right? So he's eating that jelly bean. Do you think that jelly bean tastes good? No. No. David, you know it doesn't. Right? That jelly bean tastes poison. Right? But you know what? So here's the two choices. Here's the two choices you're placing in front of the child. You're placing in front of the child either the choice of next time I have to hide it better. Right? Because now the issue is not doing the right thing or the wrong thing. Now the issue is being caught or not being caught. So you've just changed 
right? Do you understand what I'm saying, right? So, so what happens is, is that when we, when we catch our children doing things, right, it's best if we can, if, if they can, because the idea is like this. It, I think it's a good thing if a child knows that they're doing something wrong and they, they're embarrassed by it, they hide it, right? I think it's better for them to do that than to no longer care whether or not it's bad, where all they care about is whether or not they're going to be caught, right? Mm-hmm. It's a very, very big difference. So here's what, what, how we go back to the, to the pomegranates, right, the, and the bells. The Kohen, what do you think? They were little Kohens, young Kohens. You know, we, we hope and believe that they were all holy and they were all, uh, you know, very, very righteous and they're all ready for their, for their... But I'm sure there were a few children Kohanim, children Kohens, who were playing tag, right? right? It, it wouldn't be the greatest thing for the Kohen Gadol to see them running around. But they heard those bells coming towards them. They right away... Would, would get in order. They knew, oh, 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 now it's time to get, to get in order. I think this might be a good idea. Uh, it might be, it might be uh, I think it's right, I think it's, it's true. Um, every person wants to be trusted. It's the most empowering, uh, uh, the empowering thing we can do for our children is to trust them, right? If we trust them and they neglect that trust and they abuse that trust, that's a problem. But that's if they know if you if you know that they abused it. If you don't know, it's not right in front of you. It is it is hidden from you. Should you catch them, right? right now again, every every parent parents in a different way. But there's there's a fundamental idea here that we we don't want to necessarily catch them. Versus you're never going to be able to catch them for everything. You have to leave them their own conscience, right? Everybody knows what's right and what's wrong. And when you're, when you're busy catching them, you're taking away their conscience of right and wrong and making it whether they're going to be caught or not. You've just changed that conversation or that worry from being a doing... Listen, I'm doing the wrong thing. I should just stop doing the wrong thing. But now that's not the question anymore. Now it's, I'm doing the wrong thing, but, but I don't even think about it anymore because the only thing I'm worried about is whether or not I'm going to be caught. Okay? So... Uh, I think that, yes, we do have to discipline our children. There's no question about that. But sometimes it's better for them to come out of the th- some of the negative things that they do on their own than for them to be uh, coerced because they're being caught or something like that. All right? Any questions or comments, please? We're turning off. We're about to turn off Facebook. Pascal, do you agree? All right? Pascal is online. Tell us if you agree. Uh, but so... With that, my friends, thank you very much. We're going to continue with our weekly uh, learning. We're right now at Pekude. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, and we're looking forward to seeing you next week. The next Parsha Minute will be on Thursday morning, but we're also going, we have now a daily Halacha Minute, one minute, one Halacha. Uh, you're welcome to join us. Just as an FYI, if you want to get notifications when we do go live uh, you can put your mouse over the my name or the torch center name and then click follow and then you'll get notifications uh, whenever we go live so thank you for joining us have a fantastic day and thank you for liking and sharing our videos